Hi, everybody. We are Welcome to San Jose. I'm Sam, and this is... Jose. And today we're at Icon Park here on International Drive here in Orlando, Florida, to showcase some of the great, great, great offerings that they have down here for you and everybody to enjoy. Everything from the, or the wheel right behind us here. Um, also, they've got Madame Tussauds, Sea Life Aquarium, lots of restaurants and lots of other great things to do right here at the Icon Park Complex. We'll go ahead and we'll showcase some of those quick things for you. Show you the eye, show you Madame Tussauds, show you Sea Life and show you some of the surrounding restaurants and other offerings. You ready, Jose? Always. Let's do it. Jumping on the high profile icon, the wheel, a 400 foot tall giant observation wheel, we get into our day at Icon Park. It's not called a Ferris wheel due to the fact that the capsules are enclosed, air conditioned, and they are serialized driven, which gives it a smooth experience all the way around. Designed and manufactured by Intamin, this engineering feat weighs about 3 million pounds and is the tallest observation wheel in the North American East Coast. Each of the 30 air conditioned capsules holds up to 15 guests and takes about 20 minutes for a full rotation. The attraction was renamed the Coca-Cola Orlando Eye in 2015, the Icon Orlando in 2018, and the Will at Icon Park Orlando in 2019. After we jump off the wheel, we stroll into Madame Tussauds Wax Museum. This location, one of the many within the Madame Tussauds chain of wax museums, owned by Merlin Entertainment, has a fairly large footprint. Operating for more than 200 years, Madame Tussauds is surrounded in a history of its own and is world famous. Beginning in England, Madame Tussauds can be found around the world in many iconic cities. Every location is different and reflects the style, people, and excitement of its specific location. Figures take up to four months to make, utilize a team of around 20 artists, and involve more than 200 different measurements. With every hair inserted individually by hand, each sculpture costs about $300,000. This location has themed rooms featuring a red carpet arrival, A-list party, history and leaders, modern leaders, sports, music, history, and more. Any guesses on who this person is? Took a picture with him when we first walked in. It is Pitbull. What we have right behind me is what the actual body of a wax sculpture looks like. This is an actual skeleton, skeleton as they like to call it, but it's all just wires and things so you have to hold all that wax up. So it sustains it until it dries up and then they're able to go ahead and mold it. And then once the molds come out, they're able to go ahead and put different structures on there to make it a whole entire human being and make it as realistic as possible. In the same complex, we explore Sea Life Aquarium. 
sending its visitors across the seven seas and oceans, Sea Labs creatively crafted exhibits showcase some amazing creatures from all around the globe. This location offers you the chance to come face to fin with sharks, stingrays, sea turtles, and more. Divided into different sections dedicated to the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. One of the highlights of Sea Life Orlando is the 360 degree tunnel that takes you through a large tank. For a small fee, you can go on a 25 minute behind the scenes guided tour to get more in depth information about the inner workings of the aquarium. For the little ones, Sea Life also offers a touch pool. We love International Drive in Orlando, Florida. With so many types of attractions, restaurants, entertainment offerings, and more, it can be difficult to decide where to start first. We always recommend Icon Park for its diverse offerings, the walkability of the area, and its close proximity to Universal and Disney. Along with the great attractions, there are plenty of restaurants for all types of gourmands. Be sure to stop by Icon Park when you're in Orlando, or if you're a local looking for a quick escape. Next to Icon Park and its adjacent iDrive 360 Plaza is the Orlando Star Flyer. From the top, on a clear day, you can see Universal Orlando, the downtown Orlando skyline, parts of Disney, and more. Dubbed as the world's tallest swing-style ride, the Star Flyer takes riders up its 450-foot tower, where they get a bird's-eye view of the surrounding tourism district, We are welcome to San Jose. Be sure to subscribe.